Hello everybody, Sly here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for Kernel Corn. I will be showing you guys what are the best builds for Corn, both legendary upgrade and non-legendary upgrade Corn. Okay, so the best build for Machine Gun Corn is Hopscotch, Super Spin, and Low Life. One of the big problems that Machine Gun Corn has is that his primary doesn't do that much damage, but that's why we have Super Spin. So with super spin, it increases your fire rate after you get one vanquish, two vanquish, up to three vanquishes. It stacks up. This is very OP because you're gonna be uh, shooting faster and dealing more damage per second. I'm gonna show you guys the difference of the fire rate. So right here, I haven't killed a single enemy. This is Colonel Corn's regular fire rate. As you guys could see, it's not that fast. After you kill three enemies, this is your fire rate. You guys can see it's a lot faster and it makes a big difference in the battlefield. Here's a nice little clip of Super Spin in action. The ability Hopscotch allows you to deal additional damage by hitting enemies directly with the Husk Hop. So this basically increases the amount of damage that you could do with the Husk Hop, making it very strong. And in this clip, I do not have the ability Hopscotch on, and you guys are going to see that I do a lot less damage. So with this ability, it makes it a lot easier to get kills with Husk Hop due to the fact that it does more damage. I tried Leaping Leap which increases the area of the Hoskop, but it's not as good as the Hopscotch. The best build with the legendary upgrade is Shogun Guard with Rapid Recob. This loadout basically focuses on the primary due to the fact that the legendary upgrade basically changes the primary. Since we're changing the primary, we also want to increase the reload speed so that we could be firing faster and reloading faster. One of the biggest benefits of having the legendary Shogun Guard is that you're going to be able to hit targets from far a lot easier. With the Machine Gun Corn, it's possible, though it's very hard to do a lot of damage due to the fact that they're so far away. With legendary Shogun Corn, it's a lot easier to be more accurate. Another benefit of having the legendary upgrade is that you're given the shield. This shield is very helpful because it reduces the amount of damage that you take and it also wastes the other person's bullets. A lot of times this shield can be life saving and it's very helpful. The only downside is they could still hit you but they have to shoot under your shield. So the Butter Beacon is a very useful ability that Korn has. It helps it, you and your teammates a lot. So ultimately you throw this butter and then you have a beacon which highlights the enemies that are near the butter. This is very useful because it reveals the locations of your enemies to you and your teammates. So the Shook Shot is very strong. The only downside it has is that, that it has a cooldown of 30 seconds. So just try to be accurate with it. You could use it for one enemy or two. It all really depends on you. Just hit your shots and use it wisely. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here and you want to see future Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Never Full of videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know when it's the next time I upload. Other than that, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.